Nicole's Corner again. And um, today I'm smudging with um, sage and white willow. Uh, I'm pretty sore today, so I'm doing a cleansing and a, you know, just just all around mm, need some strength to get through the day. And actually, what I was taught. Um, a little bit about um, Cree praying is uh, not that any form of prayer is wrong, it's just that our way teaches us that when we do pray, you know, we sit like this so we're open to hear and receive messages and uh, you know, guidance and and things like that and sort of, you know, curled up into a ball where, our, where we're kind of closed up. Instead, you know, when we do pray, everything is open and exposed, especially our hearts, minds, you know, ears, and spirit. Also receive messages, you know, then we are open to receive whatever comes our way. So this morning, you know, I pray, and I was taught a long time ago, don't pray for patience, don't pray for tolerance, don't pray for <laughs> things like that because, you know, stuff will come along and, yeah, you'll learn it the hard way. Instead, pray and ask to borrow some of the Creator's patience, some of the Creator's tolerance, some of the Creator's love, because a little bit of mine, uh, uh, a little bit of His, is so much more than a lot of mine. So I've taken that and, you know, tried, tried to incorporate that in my path. Um, because really, um, at the heart of it, at the root of it, uh, I'm not a real patient person, and uh, you know, I'm not I'm not a very tolerant person. And you know, I mean, we all have our little, uh, you know, little flaws. Anyway, <clears throat> today though, I did want to teach you a little bit about uh, just some basic beading again, not on an applique. This time we're beading. I'm beading a butterfly for a pair of moccasins that a lady ordered. Now, here's a pair of moccasins that I've tacked together. This is the finished product right there. Now, this is nice and easy, and I'll show you why. Okay, here's some that I started out doing. So, and these are really nice because you only have three colors. I chose uh, an iridescent black, and then I have the flat black beads that go, that go, that I've chosen to go in the head and in the bodice and the legs and the antennae. So, with these ones, that's what I'm doing my outline with. So what you do is you take six beads on your needle because you're doing a circle. Okay, six beads. Line them up. Oh, you know what? I should tell you. Okay, so there's your leather. And you can see I've tacked it on a piece of brown paper. Now this helps so it's not flopping around on you all the time. Um, I find it a great tool especially because of the arthritis in my hands. And you draw out the picture that you want to have on your moccasin and you just baste it with your stitching on there. You bead on top of it, you bead your outline, and then you rip the paper away and then you fill in the rest. And this will show you. Okay, so now what I've got is I've got six beads. 
<clears throat> okay, do I have six beads? Yes, I do. Okay, I have six beads on the line. And I line them up. I keep my thumb where I want the last bead to go. Now, in the other video, I told you that if you put your needle up and down, straight where the last bead is, that's where your last bead is going to end up. Okay? So, there. Make sure that's tight. Hold it, if you can, like that. Come up around. It might take a couple of times. Sometimes it does for me too, especially on days like today. In your line, right, right about there, to your third bead. As you pull, okay, make sure that's nice and tight. Go in, so you, through your last three beads, come out. Okay. And then there's some of that. Now, there's a really neat trick I'm going to teach you. Okay, I'm just going to put three beads on. Just to pin down the last little bit of this. And then I'm going to show you how to do a straight line. That's a real quick and easy way. Okay, so now you've come to that. Now what you want to do is I've already done the line here. So you go to the last right here. The, this is great because you can see where you started and left off. Right there. And that makes a, a diagram for you, if you will, I guess. So now this is great because now you can just load your needle up. Hold your needle up. Make sure your needle is straight up and down. Push where you want the last bead to end up. Okay, there. Now, you want to take, and you can get these at any dollar store too. I have a ton of needles. But we call them stabilizer needles. Okay, and they're the long beading needles that you can get at any dollar store and you tuck that right inside that line like that okay and then what you do is you follow this line about every two or three beads okay and you just stitch around it so you come up one side and down the other
have your line, you can now take out your stabilizer needle. It's nice and tight. It's not going anywhere. And it's all sewn down. And you don't have to do it two by two by two. So that's a neat little trick that my late aunt taught me. And, um, and then, once you're done that, it depends on what you have in the middle there. If you just want to fill this in with other beads, it depends on what you're doing, a flower or whatever. You just have to follow your lines. And that's all you do. I mean, it does take some time, but it looks quite fantastic, actually. When it's done, I'll show you the finished product again. I've just about got this moccasin together, but... And then you come out with something like so. So, that's little tricks for now and then. Um, usually I put on makeup and whatnot before these videos, but today I am crafting, so I really don't need to uh, go and get it all done up and whatnot. And um, it's going to be kind of a... A day at home where I'm going to be beating and whatnot. It's kind of icky out. It's raining. It's trying to sun, but not really. So stay tuned. Um, we have some fabulous stuff planned for you next week. I am going to actually start putting out a video a day. And uh, I will get back in touch with you. If you read my posts, I can tell you the times and whatnot that they will be available. And uh, I'll keep shooting you links. I hope.